Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe. It's been a while since uh, you and I revisited this game. Um, it's still my favorite 4X of all time. Nothing has dethroned it. Nothing has come close to dethroning it. I haven't played it much since my last uh, thing because too many games to play. I've, I've dabbled with it, but I've been asked a few times to come back to this with some mods. So I've chosen two mods that we're going to play through for this week. The uh, Extended Universe mod and the Star Trek Picard era mod. So the mods are very easy to install. Uh, there's a list, there's a link uh, to a video from DOS24680 on how to do it, but it's pretty simple. Basically, you download the zip file from the Matrix Games forums, and then you uh, unzip the folder that's in the zip file to the customization directory. That's pretty much it. Uh, the game already comes with two mods, I believe, Distant Worlds Original and the Ancient Galaxy. Uh, just the, not, not only that to show you what mods are capable of, but to, you know, get things started in that regard. But, and to, now, but then once you're in a game, changing a mod is easy. Selecting a mod is easy. Um, you go to the change theme and you just hit um, the theme you want. So we're going to start with the extended universe because it kind of keeps the gameplay very similar. It just adds more stuff. So as you can see... We're going to start with the classic era for all this, because that's simple. It's where everything started uh, with the games. I mean, the, the, uh, the expansions added this stuff and this stuff. We're just going to start with the classic era for both this and the Star Trek mod. Now, as you can see, here are the races for the vanilla game. Well, they got about 20-ish of them. Caden, uh, Akuru, Human, Gazurian, you know, stuff like that. So now, we're going to go back and change the theme. And this is going to take a moment. This is going to take a moment. Because um, it's got a lot to load. These are hundreds of megabytes in size because they add a lot of stuff, a lot of images, sounds. The Star Trek mod is uh, much larger than the Extended Universe mod. The Extended Universe mod is a couple of hundred megs, while the, um, the Star Wars mod... Star Trek mod, excuse me, is a little over 700 megs unzipped. So they both had quite a bit of stuff. Uh, so we're starting with this one because it kind of keeps the core gameplay the same, but just adds more. And the Star Trek one changes a lot more. So I kind of wanted to show you an example of uh, the different types of mods. Uh, this one, I believe, also comes with a UI enhancement. Um, let's see, I think. Where'd you go? Yeah. It, oh, this comes with uh, the DOS Chrome UI 1.5B mod. It adds, so it adds 18 races. So as you can see, we're going to start a new game. Classic era. As you can see, there are a lot more races now. A lot more races. Um, so I don't know which one to pick. So let's take a look at some of these. Uh, passive. Cautious, friendly, intelligent, dependable. I like that. I might stick with them. Faster research. Oh, master engineers. I like both of those things. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm not sure what all the races are. Let me see what some of these uh, images. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, these guys are new. Ex-human. They're kind of humanoids, but <clears throat> a little different. Um, uh, I'm trying to, I wish I, I wish this, like, I wish this gave a listing of which races were new, you know, I'm looking at the forum thread right now. It doesn't really list which races are new. It just says there are 18 new races. So as you can see, there are a lot more races to choose from, and these can also show up in your game as you play. So we're just gonna, I kind of like these guys. Government is randomly selected. That's fine. We're going to keep all of this stuff the same. We're not going to change anything else. Just the race. And I believe this is a race. So we're going to go with these guys. <clears throat> and we're going to play a couple of games. We're going to play like a little bit with this race and see how the game plays out. I haven't played this in a while, so I might be a little rusty. Plus, I've never, I was never that, excuse me, 
great at this game to begin with. If you saw the collaborative series with me and a few other people, you could see how not great I am at this game. I'm not great at 4Xs in general because I'm impatient. So, um, <clears throat> so hopefully I'll do all right this time. All right, so these are our victory conditions. Ah, yes, the UI has been changed a little bit. As you can, I don't know if you, yeah, definitely. Hi, Harry. Do you want to play as the Akardi, at, uh, Ak, Akdarian Coalition? Oh, we're democracy. That's nice. We have one colony. What? My cat is very demanding sometimes. All right. Advisors want to build new ships? Sure. Would you do it? All right. So I am guessing our scouts are going to go out and do their thing. Yeah, their exploration ships are going, going, going. There you go. See you guys. And our freighters have really nowhere else to go just yet. So we have a construction ship, a mining ship here. It's probably going to build. I'm guessing it's going to either mine from this planet or build a mining base. Let's take a look at a few things. Ah, that's the Galactopedia. All right. That's right. All right. Now we only have the one colony. Let's see. Potential colonies. Ah, someone's already colonizing here. Excellent. Let's see who. What this? Oh, everything is fully automated right now. No, everything's on suggest. That's how I like it. I'll leave it like that. Nice. Seeking missile. I wonder how much stuff it's added here. So, uh, yeah, the, you can definitely see the, the mod is, uh, the UI is definitely a little cleaner. These buttons are a little nicer. These buttons are all a little nicer. These buttons are definitely nicer. I want to add, uh, let's take a look. What are our military ships doing? No missions yet. Patrolling. Okay. What are you guys doing over here? Oh, okay. So it looks like we've got assets in these three systems now. Uh, yeah, sure. Mm. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the, uh, da, 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 da. there we go. Oh, we haven't met any other races yet. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so just about everyone's doing something. Investigate the ruins, absolutely. Ooh, we got a system map. Ooh, our 11 surrounding systems, go us. Uh, oh, geez, there's a few of them. Oh, man, G sand slug. Oh, man. Guess there's something valuable over there, huh? This is our research station, though. Right next to it. Oh, crap. Okay, where's the first fleet? Because they have to deal with this. Um, fleet, 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 fleet. There we go. Fleet. Need you to deal with that, guys. Uh, let's see. You want to build... Sure, I can deal with some new destroyers. It's a lot of our money, though, but we're going to have a good chunk of money coming in. And you want to retrofit. What's the new, what's the new, what's the new technology? That's funny. Spend zero credits. Okay, so where is the first fleet? Uh, fleet, 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 fleet. There we go.
Oh, crap. Come on, guys. Well, at least the base can kind of defend itself. Oh, fairly decently, too. Not great, though. How's the base doing? Ah, oh, crap. The base is destroyed. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a colony ship. Did we take it? Oh, I guess we did. Yeah. Let's watch what this is going to do for a while. Uh, crap. I totally forget. I totally forget what the key is to follow a ship. Um... Go get it, guys. You destroyed my station. I don't appreciate that. Kill it! Oh, crap. Got it. Crap. How bad is it? No energy, shields, no hyperdrive. Ooh. That's new too. I don't remember the icons being that pretty. Still no potential colonies yet. Dang it. What is this? Oh, it's an exploration ship of another nation. Okay, I need you guys to go repair. What do you want me to build? Just one destroyer? That's fine. Oh yeah, you don't have a hyperdrive. Crap. Hmm. Hold on. Build new ship. I don't remember. Can a construction ship repair other ships? I don't think they can. What is this? Colony ship. Freighter. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Huh. Low quality colonies. Yeah. Those are low quality, all right. Okay. See, now the thing is, if you haven't played this before, there are other videos to show you how to do it, but what we could do, and I'm going to show you this, is um, let's do fully automate. And watch it work. Now you might go, hey Brian, how is this fun? How is playing a game fully automated fun? It depends on what you're looking for. Like, if I want to, say, 
This is what I like to do sometimes. Let's see, let's go, let's go. Patrol, patrol, patrol. No, troop transport, no mission. Interesting, we, we colonized this planet? Well, I guess that's a decent quality. Ocean moon. Oh, we colonized a planet within our own system. That's funny. Oh, we colonized, yeah, right there, look at that. So now we have two colonies. So let's see, this Sentinel is not doing anything. Let's turn off automation. Alright, so now we're in charge of Sentinel 04. So let's, you know. I turned automation off for you. Oh, I did. It's going over here. Cool, cool. Oh, how are we doing on victory conditions? Although we've met a few other guys. Oh, not terrible. Better than these other fellas. But yeah, it's weird. This is how I started playing was just automate one ship, tell it to do stuff. So now I'm going to have it, you know, escort this ship, for example. Because why not? It's fun, right? I wish I knew. There's a key. I just can't remember what the hell it is. That will tell you. That will follow a ship you've got selected. So yeah. See now I'm scoring this one ship. Woo! Look at that. Okay. So now we're going to put him back on automate. So that's how I started playing the game. If you don't, if you have, if I haven't told you that by now, I started with one ship, and I kind of expanded to multiple ships. But now, I like to put everything on, suggest, because that makes me feel like an emperor. So everything's on suggest. So now, Escort. Okay. So what are our ships doing? Yeah, yeah. Why would you have a mission? Oh, look at all these ships that don't have missions. What are you all doing? Yeah, look at all these ships that don't have missions. Well, I just want... Wait, I just want... I just want... Military ships. There we go. Uh, why don't you guys have missions? And why aren't you, why aren't some of you in a fleet? Okay, so let's take the ones who don't have a mission. And now we're going to make a fleet out of them. Just a few of them. Uh, so now they're part of the second fleet. Easy peasy, right? There's so much you can do with this game, whether you choose to or not. Enhanced missiles. Now they're going to ask if we want to, uh, if, we want, if we want to retrofit. That's nice. Okay. Oop. I got to look this up. I am dying to know. Yeah, see? 3,000 3, credits? Do it. Absolutely. So let's see. Nope, nope, nope. All right. So, yeah. Uh, oh, we've encountered another empire. Distant. 
The Hidden Bandits. Ooh, pirates. Pirates. Do I have to actually open the manual? Yeah, I guess I do. All right. We want to build. What do you want to build? Construction ship? I like construction ships. Build me two of them. Okay, hang on. I got to look at the manual. Because apparently the keys are all in there. I was hoping they'd be online somewhere. I just don't remember them. Oh, what do you want? I'm not giving you 30,000 credit. 30,000. I mean, it could be something really awesome, or it could be something stupid. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Is it something awesome or something stupid? That's a third of my money right there for what? No, I don't like, I don't know. Go away. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in a, I'm not in a mood. Um, so let's take a look. Let's look for keyboard commands because I I want to follow my fleet. Um, I want to follow my fleet around, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, there we go. Hot keys. Wait and see. All the way down there. Oh, cool. All right. There we go. Finally. Jeez. All right, let's see. Do, 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 scroll up and down. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Increase the zoom. Lock, L, God, all right. I knew it was something like that. I kept thinking it was follow. Sorry, hang on. Nope, no enemy targets. Let's watch an exploration ship. There we go. Let's see what they find. Yeah, I like feeling like like an admiral or an emperor, like watching what my ships are doing. Wait a minute, what? We have encountered. Okay. Cool. No, wait a minute. Hang on. You want to do an? Uh, oh. Oh. See, this is the thing that shadows added that I really love. You can pay other um, clans to attack. Like, if I wanted to give someone forty-five hundred credits. To attack that other pirate base. I think I did it. So what'd you find? Anything neat? No, nothing there, apparently. That's cool. This is my favorite part about this game. Is the, uh... Wait, what? Oh! Kill it! Kill it! Good shooting there, Tex. Kill it! Nice! Good job there, man. So now we can watch this ship patrol. Damn, look at that. I just love how busy. Okay, do it. What? Belligerence? He 
you talking about? Why would you do that? Basic proximity area. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right, so what are our military ships doing? Our construction ships are building all gas miners. That's good. Our exploration ships, yeah, they're pulling asteroids. What happened to the f second fleet that I created? Well, that's the thing. It's automated. Is everyone at least doing something? Just about everyone is. Yeah, patrol, patrol, retrofit. Okay, well, at least they're all doing shit. Oh, God. Gotta get out of this. Nope, not that way. Yeah, the UI is still a little funky. Okay, so the military ships are all pretty much doing something. Patrol, 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 for retrofit. Only one isn't doing nothing. Why not? What are you doing, man? Just sitting there? What are you doing? Do something. <laughs> oh yeah, um, bases and shit and planets orbit like the, you expect them to. 30,000 credits. You know what? My girlfriend's pa favorite color is purple. So based on that, I just spent eight. I hope. Oh wow, four hundred bases. Wow, wait a minute. Advisors offer treaty. Sure. You want to establish a new colony? Let me see it. Eta system, ocean moon. Oh, right there. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. What are the resources? Polymers. And I love how you can just open that shit up. It's a luxury resource. Hey, you always want luxury resource. Absolutely. Build new ships. What do you want to build? Yeah, build me another one of these two. Okay, and let's see. Hunting. Sure. All right. So we just built a bunch of ships. We took a bunch of stuff. Treaty refused? Why? Fine. All right, so up here, let's take a look. No, no, no. I always forget which button it is. There we go. We're still number one, but right above, we're not by, by, not by much. Oh, we are kind of tied with the Enton Confederacy. And it looks like that's bright green. Ah, yeah. So I'm guessing that's these guys. I can't look. What are you doing? What are you all the way up there for? Interesting. All right. So yeah, the galaxy is moving and a grooving. I'm gonna do it. I I, I hate retrofitting because it takes some ships out of the uh, out of the fight for a while. But at the same time, retrofitting ships with better equipment is better. Shortages of what? Helium? Crap. All right, hang on. Where can we find helium? Helium, helium. Yes, I know. I need to find some. Need to find some. Really? 
Nowhere. Nothing. No, not one. Oh, wait. No. That's all I needed. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, shit. All right, we're low on helium. That's going to be a problem. I'm about to lose a good chunk of money. Oh, wow, look, I've never seen that before, actually, in my many hours of playing this. That's pretty cool. At least I don't remember seeing it. Oh. That's pretty awesome. All right, we're going to end this first session there with um, finding a new lost colony and stuff. So, yeah, this, 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 this uh, universe already feels a bit more vibrant. Oh, look at this. This is not going to go well. Right here. This is not going to go well at all. You're going to, something's going to happen there. You just wait. But yeah, this is just one mod right here. So we're going to play one more session with this mod. And uh, then we're going to switch to the Star Trek mod and see how much fun that one is. Now, if I seem quiet or bored, I'm not. I'm just watching what's going on. Again, this game is massive. I mean, look at just this. Look at this map. Each dot here is a system. And each system can have multiple planets, you know, with, with ruins and space creatures and colonies. And the map will get, it's already getting crowded here in the middle-ish. But we're already finding things to do here. So this game is very active. And it takes a good deal of concentration, so... I want to let you know that I was quiet for a bit and I realized I was doing this after the fact because I was kind of trying to focus on what was going on. So I just wanted to just throw that out there just to make you all sure. So I'll see you for the next entry where we're going to play this mod one more time and then, we're going to, then for the, after that we're going to switch to the Star Trek mod for a little bit. Uh, and I'm also going to play around with the in-game editor as we go. Because not only does this game have great modding capabilities, it's got in-game editing. So we're going to play around with that. So I'll see you in a bit.